I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yeah well, I, well, yeah, sure. I'm ready now. We'll be going in just a second. I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight's going to be fun. We're going to do some pop art and stuff, which, um, oops, hold it. Oh, sorry. I've, I've got my computer in, in, in one ear, and I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Um, ooh, what's this do? Okay, there it goes. Sorry, okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is where we get the blooper reel, people. Yeah, yeah, really, this is the blooper reel. This is, oh uh, gosh, sorry. I, I, um, I have me in my, you in my ear over here, and, um, I'm trying, trying to get it started really quick, and I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's get all the bad stuff out right away. That, that, that way it'll be good. So, there we go. That's going to be fun tonight. Let me make sure I got everything right. Everything sounds right. Everybody ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. We're back. It's Tuesday. I'm John, and that's Jackie over there. Yes. And we're gonna have so much fun tonight. Um, so tonight, you know, we're gonna make it pop. That's sort of the the whole thing about this. So so we're gonna be doing some fun <laughs> pop art and different things. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. But we're gonna do all all kinds of things though tonight. We're yeah. Look at that. We have some stuff going in the studio. We have um, we have um. Some paintings I, well, you, that I've been working on the week. Yeah, you got a lot of paintings go, going on, and then um, we got some something silly going on. With yeah. I'm gonna make you do. Yeah, yeah. Jackie's gonna. Um, Jackie's got a whole sort of scenario. She's what's that show you've been watching? Well, Glow Up. Glow Up. Okay, so so it's a makeup competition based out of the UK, and it's on Netflix called Glow Up, yeah. and it's really fun. Um, and you can marathon it pretty quick. The only thing that drives me nuts about it is one of the judges. You know how every judge has, like, their thing where it's, like, the the handshake or the oh, yeah. whatever? This one makeup judge, her thing is just to go, you get a ding dong. Oh, man. That's, it's the worst. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. <laughs> but you're going to make me um, glow you up. So, you are. So we're gonna you're you're going to – it's going to glow up in here. In yeah, it's going to glow. But most, mostly it's about pop art. Pop, pop. Right. Pop, pop. There we go. That's right, magnitude. <laughs> I love mag mag magnitude. But tonight it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to do lots of cool things. But first, before we get into the um, um, all that kind of stuff, let me show you what I've been working on this week. Because we did a sitting a couple weeks ago, and um, and that's led to uh, all kinds of art and stuff. And um, and also I worked on the elephant painting behind me. Um, all that's going to be done next week. And here, let me, let me let me move it over to the easel, because um, this this is a painting, and Jackie back there was the the lovely model for this. Yes. And um, the fun thing about this painting, so it, it tells a story. Dun dun dun. But the wonderful thing about it is that it has a texture. So this is a feathered boa down here, but you can actually feel it. The 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 paint is so thick. I just love it. And um, so what do you think the story is here? Because like okay. ref reflected in the sunglasses is a guy with a gun, but he's like facing away from you. Okay, I think, th this is what I think, and, it, and I'm, I might be a little swayed because I'm the model of sorts, so I feel like it's a bit about me. Uh, she's gangsta. So, mm -hmm. so she's like, maybe she pulls the strings, and she's sitting back because you're, you know, she's seeing the dude from behind, so she's sitting back. W watching him do her bidding like she's the mastermind Ooh. of the situation i'm just gonna go with that that's the story <laughs> <laughs> that's a good story and i i thought it when i was working on this i was gonna have the the gunman like facing you in this or facing the mm -hmm. the, the lady in the painting and um and i thought no because that's just like i don't know it's it's it kind of writes its own story you know it's sort of like okay it's a, somebody's being it antagonistic you know sort of thing well, and but on this with them faced away it opens up so many other stories yeah and i don't know if like somebody was pointing a gun at you i don't think your face normally it wouldn't with the calmness and slight smirk i don't know if that would be the right face for somebody pointing a gun at you i don't know i've done some other sunglass paintings because I, I i would do a series of like strong women and and I, I would try to have things reflected in sunglasses like like 
bombs going off and all kinds of stuff. But the woman was real calm. It's like it's like it's like it's like she was an '80s a- action hero or something, you know? Yeah. You know, with the fires going and they're just calmly walking away from it. And all, That's so. true, and I do dig those paintings a lot. No, oh, thank. Um, well, let me say, Kylie Sykes joins us. Says howdy. Hey, Kylie. My mom has tuned in. Says hey guys. Hey. 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 Um, Kim joins us uh, and says hello. Fred joins us says howdy howdy. Hey, Barbara Kim Brands is with us and says yeehaw Tuesday. Barbara. Hi, you two. Hey. Well, hey. It, um, that's, that's really good timing for, for Barbara because I want to show the next painting I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And it's not done. It's just the drawing is done. But but Barbara has a big part to do with it. Come yeah. On. Yeah, throw that thing on the easel. Oops. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's chaos. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. <laughs> okay. So um, I should say, oh. like, this was part of the sitting, and um, that is the beautiful Shirley. And uh, Barbara Brands was a photographer that was hanging out with us and took some amazing photos, and so she nabbed this great photo of Shirley and made it all pretty in black and white. We showed it, I think, last week. And uh, anyway, so you were inspired. Yeah, yeah, and and so, um, and can we throw, like, Barbara's link in there, or yeah, or, yeah, or or, or, um, or or Barbara wants to, but but if or, yeah, yeah, know. well, I'll try Barbara if if you can, because I hers is like at aim shoot, so there's a thing, um, but yeah, share your information, Barbara, um, because all her photos are beautiful. Yeah, and, and uh, this and this painting was inspired by one. Yeah, no, that was um, yeah. So the the, the photograph of this is is really nice and. Um, and the technology I have lets me w- work from that, but also in the sitting, I was able to feel everything and understand, and and it helps too. Like with the sitting, like like the chair that, that Shirley is sitting in, that's my thinking chair. So everything in here I know really well. I call well. it his Archie chair, but yeah, yeah. it's my yeah yeah. You call it my Archie chair. It's my thinking chair. That's where I, that's that's the chair I sit in to get ideas. And then the the <laughs> glass she's holding is a martini glass that we have that we had forever. Um, the dress is one that we bought for the shoot. The, the window is actually a window that we have that we hung over there. And so it's all these different elements that, that, um, that I have that I'm very familiar with that helps. And then, and then Barbara, like it's one of the best things is working with somebody as creative as is, is Bar- Bar- Barbara, sorry, I can't talk tonight, is, is just the flow of ideas. And so it's just brilliant. And it was so, it's so great. And she had this idea for this, this pose. And, I, th- I think that pose was just inspired. It was so cool. So I'm, I'm going to try not to, to run it or anything with the painting. But the the idea with the painting is that it's going to be in the reflection series, and this is going to be in a show in Frisco, and um and you know and I want to tag Barbara everywhere, you know there and here, and and then we're going to have lots of social media, so have that on, that put her on there. But um but I want to have a reflection in in this window, and I'm not. I was thinking. I think I know what I'm going to put in there. Um, yeah. So I was thinking about having like a devil, almost like a like an old Mem, Mem, Mephistopheles. I can't talk that <laughs> night. Asmodeus or but, but Mephistopheles, like sort of like the old um, gentleman devil. Like you can, I don't know. I if think that that's a sense. great idea. I think that's going to be really cool. Like with a Van Dyke sort of thing, you know. And, but he, you know, he's, he's 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 you know, it's not like a scary devil. It's a you know, it's a it's a devil that that you don't really see coming in a way. So. So you have somebody in the window that's being reflected, and I, I don't know. I thought that might be fun. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And this, of course, is still in in, in black and white. I put a little gray in it, but I haven't put any of the color. But it's going to have a lot of rich color um, on Shirley's dress, and and, um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the window. I know there's going to be some color there, but I don't know if it's going to be a lot of dark grays and blues or whatnot. But yeah, it's. Cool. I really enjoyed working on this so far, and. And in the in the painting, what is the title of that other painting? Um, Newer Nights. Newer Nights. Thank you. Gosh, I I, I named the my, paintings. I know my my, my brain. <laughs> I swear. But uh, and the other, I've, I've enjoyed working on that so much, and it's so great. I don't know to actually have the painting, you know, with real people here and all, and you know, be able to have that. So um, I don't know. It's, it's it's pretty cool. Like in the in the painting of Newer Nights, I just showed that feather boa. It's right over there. You know, it's all these different things. The hat. Is around here somewhere. I think I think we drew last week's winner out of that hat. Oh um, yeah, that's right. So no, that's right a hat that's in that painting. <laughs> yeah, I still have all the names in this hat. That's yeah, it's a little yeah. ridiculous. So all the pro- props, even even the sunglasses, are like are over there somewhere. Like you know, I mean, they're like twenties vintage sort of sun- sunglasses. So everything you know is sort of I don't know, trying to to make it as, as accurate as I can. For sure. Somewhere. Well, uh, John Dolan joins us. Says good evening. And Owen was with us. And says hey, John. Glad to have you on TikTok. Hey. Um, he says great pop art. 
and then Ron Captain has joined us and it says hi there hey thanks for tuning in and Barbara said her Instagram is at aim.shoot.love.life I love aiming my camera at things I'd love to save your memories so um, I cannot recommend Barbara more I mean she's it's beautiful I love her work oh my goodness you know and one of the things about about, about Bar Barbara too as a photographer is that she's just fun to be around and she's you know and so I mean if, if it's any kind of um, any kind of job I mean honestly I mean it's just it just makes it better yeah she just has so many ideas too which is brilliant so like I don't um I don't know like if you were you know if you knew that you had had something that you wanted done you wanted photography done but you're you have no idea about like what poses or how to do it or whatever um, she'll take control. Yeah, she'll 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 come in there and she'll work with your ideas. And I think well, that's just brilliant. And I do want to say, like, because coming from, like, I I understand how the photographer works. It's, my undergrad is that, but I will say there there's like magic to post production, and she's got it. So like she she'll no not only will she grab a great image, but the correcting and the tonal quality and like how she messes with it is what just puts it over the top. So that's why I fell in love with that image, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, the Tonal quality in it, everything was great. The just so <clears throat> anyway, yeah. good stuff. Contact her if you need any portrait yeah. work done. Yeah, I'm not sure what color I'm gonna make that dress. I was thinking red. The and actual it, dress is like champagne pinks and stuff. And that's pretty. <laughs> that's I mean, pretty, that, that's okay. <laughs> Reality's all right and all, but you know, but but um, but yeah. So I was thinking about that, and um, but you know, I can make it blue, can make it green. I mean, that's a that's a nice thing about being a painter is that you know, I have a whole drawer full of different colors I can make it whatever I want um oh let me show you oh is there do you want to read something or? oh well um Herb joins us and says hello oh hey Herb so thanks for tuning in yeah. and um uh Owen said I'm back so he had went somewhere oh and uh Barbara says ah you make me blush uh John Dolan says um our legally blind son Charlie thinks your painting is so cool He's very excited to hear you talk tonight. Oh, oh cool. Man, wow. Hey, Charlie. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks so much, Charlie. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, man. And, and Charlie, and, and parents of Charlie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just hit the camera. Oh, it's not on yet. Good. I said to spin I just sent everybody for a tumble. Sorry. Um, yeah, if there's any questions or anything that I can talk about, and please don't hesitate. Um, here, let me turn to this camera for the easel so you can tell me if it's like for me to get it. Let's get it way? over to the right a little bit. This way. There you go. You're good. Good. Is that it? Perfect. Hey, we got it set up earlier, but I thought there was no way I got it close. Is that that's pretty good? Yeah. Can I perfect. tweak it a little, or is yeah. that does that mess it up? That's fine. Is it? That's good. Good. I just want to put my right foot on it. <laughs> <That one's sure. laughs> I've got my feet down on the thingy. Um. Well, cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah. So by the way, here's a painting that I started, um, and this is for the pop art, and it's also for the reflection show that that I have that's going to be showing in Frisco, um, a couple weeks, a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It. it Yes, it is. Oh, at that show, I'm going to be a workshop and everything. Yeah, so so just to give you guys the the inside scoop, we it's it's a show in Frisco, um, and we'll we'll post about it and all that fun stuff. The reception is September, um, I think, 18th. It's the weekend of the 18th, and then the reception is. I mean, I'm sorry, the reception is that, and then the workshop. Um, is the 26th so we'll post all sorts of information about that if you want to sign up it's kids and adults friendly we'll, we'll do sensory fun art um, and that's happening uh, the later part of September so yeah and it's the same workshop that we've done with museums all over the place and 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 it's, it doesn't matter your ability or disability so like um, it's a it's a workshop that I do with professional artists and a workshop that I do with with children who are blind that have never painted or done any art you know it's just fun forever it's just fun really you know um so anyway but yeah we'll, we'll do more about that and the workshop's free i think isn't it i have no idea i don't know the, for the sure Frisco people are free. handling it but i will I find out yeah i, I don't know i, I mean I, I generally generally or, or if it's money the money generally goes to a charity or, yeah, or, or, so or it an goes institution back into or something like, so so yeah. i don't know but we'll find out about that so Forget about the price. <laughs> we'll find out about that. <laughs> Details to follow. But I'll tell you what, you can paint with me here for free for sure. <laughs> That's right. Um, this 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 painting here that okay, let me, let me tell you the reason that I did this. I'm doing this image right here, is because pop art. It, it makes it makes some the art that a lot of times we think is mundane or stuff that we don't see as very exotic or highbrow or whatever, and we don't see that as true art. They elevate that to art, so it sort of it was a movement that started. And 
and that's one thing about this. So this is sort of a take on comic books. And this image, the way that a woman is depicted here, is something that you'll see in comic books over and over and over. You'll generally see the face like at an angle like this, or you'll see her like looking straight on. It's funny, but if you notice, like if you go through these sorts of things, um, you, you see it over and over and over. And I love this sort of style because, um, you know, I draw with this paint and it's a golden and I mix it with a medium that makes it very tacky. So when I feel the black, you can actually feel all this black for me. Later, when I put the varnish on it, you won't be able to feel it anymore. It'll slick it over. But for right now, while I'm working on it, all these heavy lines are just, it's just awesome. It just, it's so easy to feel where you are on here. So that's how I drew it. But um, one of the things about this is that it's in the reflection series. So in the in this whole series, there's all sorts of reflections. That's sort of the thing that holds it together, I guess. So there's sunglasses, there's waters, there the waters. I like the elephant painting behind me. It, it's uh, the elephants are being reflected in water. We got all this, but the idea is to have a reflection, and that reflection, I don't know. It tells the story. It helps you get into the painting more. Kind of like I think the one with you, the the noir. Yeah. See, so I think like it 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 takes the painting to the next level or adds that sort of um, uh, just a, like a it thickens the plot. You know, it it the plot thickens. Yeah, yeah, with every painting. So, as opposed to just a woman's face to the side or something. Yeah. So. And and I wanted to ask you guys cuz okay, so I have this all this almost all this is hair. So, this is a very common sort of image, but of course I put glasses on her cuz I like glasses. So, this is a very common. But so you have the hair that's kind of curling around. Um this over here, um oh, what I should say for anyone that's visually impaired, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and it's horizontal, which means it's wider than it is tall. And it's a very extreme close-up of a lady's face. And she's looking off, like her head is tilted towards the right side of the canvas. So, you know, her eyes, are, her well, she's wearing sunglasses. So, the, so the, the top of one side of her sunglasses is touching the top of the canvas. And the other pair of sunglasses is, is about an inch or two away from the edge of the, uh, of the far side of the canvas. So her head's just tilted. Um, and her hair is sort of wisping around. The only part of the background is right over here to the right. Um, but all the rest of this is either a face or hair. But I was wondering what color to paint her hair. Like I was thinking blonde and, you know, and ruby lit red lips. And then I was thinking. I don't think blonde. Yeah, I don't think I don't, blonde I'm either. And then blonde. I was thinking maybe red. And, and Jack, my son Jack, um, he, said, he said orange. But I'm also thinking blue. But, the, the, but reflected in, in the lady's sunglasses is a masked hero. So Ooh. this is a, so, um, well, Barbara Brand says, thanks, Jackie. That means a lot coming from you to the, what we were talking about earlier with photography. Oh. And speaking of Amanda Lee has joined us and says, Hey guys, Hey, thanks for tuning in. We, I don't know if you were watching a minute ago, but we put up the painting of Shirley that we posted a TikTok about earlier today. So yeah, yeah. Um, so we were talking about that. Uh, I would show it to you now, but I got to move everything to get yeah. to it. <laughs> but you, you can hit re, rewind and see it. <laughs> So if you guys want to see it or see like the progression of the drawing that John did, we did it on an Instagram reel and a TikTok. So, um, and if you don't, we just joined TikTok, kind of obsessed with it at this point. Yeah, just so I mean, um, we just if, started on it. So yeah, we've so got like fifty TikTokers. Our goal, <laughs> our goal is to upload a TikTok every day, even if we're making fools of ourselves. And so far, we haven't danced once, so that, I, I think know. that's pretty good. We're Yet. Filming. Um, oh, oh let, me, let me ask you guys really quick because I, I want to start painting on this a little bit, yeah. and then and then I'm gonna have to, I have to to glow up Jackie's face here in a minute too. <laughs> um, but but I was thinking because I was thinking maybe blue originally I was thinking about the the masked person in the, reflected in the glasses about that being um, a blue mask. Mm. You know, I don't know. Kim Taylor says purple for purple the hair, hair for no. the hair, which I was kind of leaning towards blue. I was kind of digging blue. I like. Jack's orange idea, just because mm -hmm. that was totally not even like something I was thinking about, yeah, but yeah. that would be funky. Purple and orange, or I don't know. Yeah, purple so, is cool. And one one thing I liked about blue was that a lot of times in comic books, um, if they want to make something look really black, they'll 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 make it black and blue. That way, it seems like the you know the highlights. Do you know it was the most used color in comic books? Oh, let me think, let me think, let me think. And why? Oh gosh, I used to know this. I think. Um, <laughs> Think, um, think the cover of the first Superman. Oh, what was the color yellow? used? The, yes, very oh. good. Wow. And do you know why? Um, 
I, it had something to do with the war, I think. Like, uh, no. No. Oh, oh no, that that was Lucky Strikes, and yeah, the one they changed that. Um, no. Well, why was it? Because it was the cheapest ink. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, Amanda Lee says, no, I didn't see it, um, but I'll do that. So she'll go over and see it. So. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, I, w- I don't know, like blue, purple, that's what I'm thinking. I don't, blue, you know, or, oh gosh, I don't know, an orange lips. I feel like orange needs to, I don't know, there's something about orange that I'm digging. Yeah. That idea. I don't know, though. I mean, orange. Gosh, I mean, because that's not, I mean, that is pop, but is, is it, I don't know. Oh, Kim says, ugh, Facebook is going in and out. So um, it seems clear on our end, but we do have storms. Like, we're under a flash flood watch here in Denton. So um, I don't know if storms are affecting anything, but. Um, yeah, I yeah, hope, I hope not. I right. hope not. <laughs> right now, at least on our end, it says zero drop frames. Yeah. But, um, but you know, I don't know. Like, we have, we, um, we might lose power here. Who knows? Who it's, knows? Oh, it's Denton. <laughs> um, we might just, we might just float down the street, too. I don't know dead. about orange. I don't know about orange. Orange is crazy. Well, I got a, I got a, I got a, a question for you. Okay. You probably know this. What does pop art stand for? Um, oh, pop, popular art. Very good. You're a nerd. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I had to think for a second. I almost, I almost felt like, like if I was an IT person and, and somebody asked what IT stands for. I'm like, uh, uh, internet thingies? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was coined in 1955 by Lawrence Alloway, I think. Well, see, here's the hard part, guys, is that I, I'm really in a standstill because purple sounds good, orange sounds good, blue sounds good, red sounds good. Like, they all sound good. Like, they, they would all what be a, good. What about, what about blue hair with purple? What, what about blue hair with orange lips? Is that weird? Is well, the orange lips weird? Maybe. It'd almost be better to have yellow lips. Oh, yeah. Okay. What a, um, I don't know. I would say mm. blue hair with purple, a bit of like purple streaks. Not, not mm. you know, it makes solid blue, but then like maybe just along the edge, like a boop. Well, I'll purple. tell you what. Let's do that. And then see what inspires you with the lips. Yeah. And, then, and if I want to change it, you know, like I said, I've got a, I've got a rack full of paints over here. So, but okay, I'm going to start with that. At least, at least it'll get us moving. So well, yeah, really, you gotta start painting, boy. I know, I know. Like, um, oh my gosh, I had it all figured out before we started. And then I asked, <laughs> then I asked the question, and then, and then, yeah. Well, um, Barbara says Facebook is smooth as silk here. Um, oh good. So good deal. And Fred said, I like the thought of purple and like a seafoam green. Oh, see, that's no, that sounds really good too. That actually sounds like her. I don't know. Like I want her lips to be something weird, and that kind of sounds cool. I so. kind of want to, yeah, I was kind of going, I mean, you guys. <laughs> um, Amanda Lee says. You're killing me over here. <laughs> Amanda, Lee, Amanda Lee says, eek, I saw it and I love it. Uh, um, and then Barbara says, Amanda Lee, isn't it awesome? Thanks. That's really oh, sweet, guys. Thank um, you so much, Amanda Lee. And, 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 and it's not done. That's that's just the drawing. Yeah. So, so um, mucho more color to come. Yeah. And if you didn't catch it, if you just tuned in a little late, John's going to put a reflection in it. Of like a gentleman's sexy devil yeah. guy, and I think that's going to be pretty cool. So um, anyway, so you you're going with blue. You're all in, huh? Well, <laughs> here we go. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, because I can always change it. Easy peasy. Yeah. So you know, one one of the things you know I've noticed like in art and writing and anything, if if you get stuck and you're not sure what to do with it. Um, just put something down. Just start, you know, and then once you start, you can always edit. You can always change things. But getting started sometimes is the is the hard thing. Well, I'm losing my Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got a Bluetooth that talks to my computer. I use a screen reader. And um, although when we're getting started, we always start the, the YouTube feed first. And, and, um, Man, and if you and guys what, want to see some bloopers, go yeah, over to YouTube. Yeah, yeah if you want to see how it's the ridiculous. show starts. Just yeah, what watch on YouTube and um, it almost and, and very, invariably it seems like I'm like oh my gosh here we go. Ah. Back in the day, didn't you used to chop off the first part of it? Um like, yeah yeah. And yeah. now we just were like whatever we are leaving it we don't care right. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like whatever. No, I mean I mean we would. It's just uh, I don't I don't I don't know if anybody really cares or I mean I I guess I don't know. It's it, it, it's part of the charm. It's funny because like. Um, yeah, yeah, it's part of the charm. It's the charm, just um, go with that. Well, it's like you know, it's funny. Um, if if I'm doing anything other than painting, I feel like I'm not I'm not working. 
you know, like, you know, it's funny. I mean, like, we, we can be doing stuff all day, like, in, you know, maybe doing stuff on the house or the yard and mm -hmm. maybe doing meetings and stuff about some stuff. And, and then finally, when it's all over, I'm like, oh, good. Now, 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 now I can go to work, <laughs> but even though, so I don't know. That's a thing. <laughs> Um, well, Fred says maybe you could stick a little orange in the pupil of her eyes. Ooh. Ooh. This crowd's got some good ideas. Yeah. Fred likes yeah, Then he said, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like me. Oh, sound like me. Well, good thing about paint is you can always cover it up. Yeah, Change yeah, it. that's true. Well, let me get, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let me get, let me get some of this blue. Uh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to color this blue and that, that some more blue over there. While um, you're doing that, I yeah. could tell the crowd what we did on what what we did this weekend. What did we do? <laughs> you're like, what, what did we do? <laughs> what did we do? We went and saw the biggest steam engine train oh, yeah. in the world. <laughs> He's clearly not as excited about this as oh, I. Oh no, I, 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 I trains. I <laughs> I'm not a big train enthusiast, but I was kind of stoked. This thing was coming through Denton. It's doing like a tour of through the U.S. and it's called the Big Boy 4014. And it's a World War II steam engine train. It's the biggest in the world. And it's just, it would it comes through and at major stops, it'll stop for like 10 minutes so you can all kind of ooh and ah, and then it took off. So it was funny because I thought, you know, who's going to be into this? Well, it's a train. I mean, but I wanted to go see it because why not, you know? Um, and it was a madhouse. I mean, a madhouse. Yeah, so many people. It was, it was awesome. We had to park blocks away and walk. I mean, it was kind of crazy. So, and Jack and I went and, and like oh, earlier in the day, we went and put pennies down on the track and then later on went and picked them up and that was fun. But um, apparently trains are like a thing for the Denton crowds. Man, and all over, like it had a helicopter that was, that was following it. and Yeah, yeah, that was, was really cool. And I felt bad because you weren't feeling good and we were all like, I was like, come on, babe, we're gonna, let's go see the train. You're like, oh, oh I don't no. feel good. Oh, I still <laughs> wanted to. Far. I wanted to. Yeah. But. It's cool. But I wanted to go. That was that was cool. So let me get let me get this blue down and then and then um and then I want to show some some pictures. Well, Amanda Lee uh, says it's really cool. This shoe experience has been amazing. Or the shoot experience has been amazing. Thank you, Barbara Brands, Jackie, and John. Um, and then, by the way, I added you on the Tikataka, LOL. Mm. Um, and Fred, Fred says, I feel like if you had trivia today, I'd be on it. Of course, the one time, <laughs> <laughs> the day we don't have it. Yeah, but you're on your game. But you get to see me mess up Jackie's face if you. Yeah, you it's gonna be around. silly. It's gonna be silly in a minute, but. You know, we'll see. We'll see who did it better. This is true. But here, um, here, but I, I wanted I wanted to show. Um, unless. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. So um, so oh here, I gotta click. Sorry, my thing's hanging. Um, so we see the pop art that I'm working on, but but let's let's look at some some master pop art stuff. So. So yeah. th so this is Warhol. This is Andy Warhol. This, this, I mean, this is this is gonna be classic pop art stuff, guys. So th this is um, 1967, Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe, you know, where he, it was like four panels, the photo one, and then the three colors, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty classic. And he did a bunch of them. I think this was at the MoMA, and this is like number 250 or something. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. Like, you know, with, I mean, so it's everybody knows Andy Warhol and all that, but but the th thing about pop art that, that I thought was kind of cool is that, they were really fighting like the rules and stuff like like art art already gotten kind of snobbish again in a way i mean where where cer certain things were deemed as art and other things weren't so the whole pop art movement was sort of a fight against that in a way and, it, and it's kind of cool it's like the whole idea of, of gra graphic t-shirts and stuff mm -hmm. came came about because of, of pop art you know and that's pretty much all yeah you it wear. was like it was like art with an attitude yeah yeah Ooh, i like that that's neat <laughs> art with an attitude art with an attitude Did I, that's so okay. This must be the. This is uh, Roy Lichtenstein. Oh, Lichtenstein. This is um, this one's called Girl in Mirror, which I thought you would find oh, fitting. Oh, hey. Um, and it was done in let's see what, forty seven. Wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's way late. I don't have the year down. Sorry, I don't know what year this is done. But um, it's almost four by four feet. And it sold for like four point eight million dollars. Man, yeah, and 
It's funny, look. <laughs> Lichtenstein, he's easy to spot because he usually has the dots and uh, and all that, and it's very car- c- cartoon esque, which is yeah. the reason why I'm, I'm working on this type of pop art tonight is because of Roy. But here, I wanted to show you guys this one too. Um, oh, this is a good one. This yeah, is really this is this one. is this is a, I was a rich man's play play thing by 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 Palazzi, and he this is the first pop art piece that was ever done. And it's and I don't I don't want to describe everything because I know we have children watch. I mean it's not it's, it's not it, that dirty. It's the first piece of art that has the word pop in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah. So it has a. Let me think. So I read a description of it. it. It's a woman. She's like hugging her knees up to her to her chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it has a um, a gun that's sort of pointed at her head, and that's what says pop. Yeah. And then it's made to look like a magazine. Yeah. I don't know why I'm describing it. You could describe it better because you can. But no, no, no. I mean you'd be, uh, be right on. It's. Um, and then. Um, and then there's like a thing about the cherry pie, and it's sort of pointed at her in a suggestive sort of way. And um, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And, and, <laughs> and then it has um, something like a plane flying or the military. Yeah, it says keep them flying. Keep them flying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, and it's I, underneath. Yeah, yeah. So, so th- this piece is by Eduardo Pelosi. I think I, I might not. I'm not. I don't know. Anyway, h- him and a few others were kind of the the fathers of this this movement, and it actually started in England. Um, and uh, their the the whole pop art thing for them because it started over there was they were taking from American culture, but they were kind of making fun of it a bit. Whereas like when it came over to America, like you know in the late '50s, they were actually embracing it and you know, just kind of like, you know, going off of it. So, you know, over in England, they were kind of making fun of it. And over here, they were just em- embracing it and then commercializing <laughs> it, basically. So that's, that's funny. That's, that's, but yeah, it's it started in England, but it, but like the, the, the center for pop art was New York, you know, that's where it really, yeah, that's true. That's got, true. Got, got huge. And, um, and because what, there was something else like that where, where it was, it was, it was meant to be, there's a lot of things like that. I'm trying to think. There was something I heard that was supposed to be like, like you know, like it was a supposed to be a bad thing, but somebody kind of took it. And they, but I can't think. Maybe, maybe it will come to me. But, I don't know. But well, uh, Kim says I was surprised you painted the elephants gray, but I love the painting. Oh. So y- yes, and and I should say behind you. Oh, here, let me let me see if I can go to my my because that'll show more of it. Yeah, it's got color in it now. You guys can see that. And it may not be very bright because we had the light set up for over here. But um, there's purples, pinks, oranges, yellows, and all kinds of things in it now, and it's um, it's getting brighter and brighter. So I don't know how well it comes across on this camera. It looks really good. Does it come across? Yeah, you're bit? you're super crisp. Is it? Oh, hello, hello everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, Why are you Laura. I apologize. With the I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's one of those. But um, but it has a lot of bright color that's starting to go in into them, and and so I was working on that that today, just putting a lot of color and. Um, and I want to start with gray a little bit because one of the things in, in this whole reflection series, every reflection is different than what's in the than what's being seen. So, um, you know, it's like somebody's inner inner self or or something that's going on, um, or or it's a, or it's another page to the story. But for the elephants, I was going to have it where it was different and it was going to be like what the elephants thought and what we thought of elephants, and I thought that's kind of convoluted a little bit. So, so I wanted to put just like the elephants are going to be the one piece in the whole series where the reflection actually mirrors the, 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 the elephant, like the, the actual thing, because, you know, elephants, you know, what you see is what, what you get, you know, like they're, they're you know, completely honest, completely true, you know, so their reflection is, is just a re- mirror reflection. And, you know, so it's sort of like, like that part where if we, if we could get that, that Zen quality in all of us, you know, where where we're exactly on the inside, what what we portray on the outside, and all sort Be of thing. just like an elephant. Yeah, yeah, the inner, inner elephant. So, <laughs> um. well, Fred says, um, I like. Oh, well, I should say, like the whole gray elephant thing. That that was initially when John was painting this. Everything in the back of that painting was super colorful. I was like, it might make him pop out if you just leave him gray. So he was on board for that for like all of twenty seconds, and then he added <laughs> color, <laughs> and and now I'm realizing that it the, the color looks fantastic. Oh, so. you like it? Yeah, no, I'm oh, on board. Cool. I'm fully on board. Well, here, let me show you guys the, this painting again real quick. So that's 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 where I'm leaving it for right now, and if we have time, I'm gonna come back to it, but. Um, I need to glow up your face. Yes. Let me say really fast. Fred says, I like Peter Max. Peter Max. Oh, yeah. The artist. 
So, oh, um, I just hit this camera. It's all right. <laughs> and Barbara says, this looks like the aircraft paintings that decorated the planes during World War II. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's and that, perfect. that, it, that, it kind of grew out of that a bit, too. Um, and then Barbara said, pinup girls. Ooh. So, okay. So, I've come over Here. to join Jackie. <laughs> You're all bending over. I'm going to put it, hello. Am I, am I cut off? No, a little bit. I'll fix it. Oh, okay. okay, so here's the deal. I, 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 John's doing a, a, a pop art painting, and I was like, <laughs> I, let, on one of the episodes of Glow Up, they did they did um, uh, pop art lips, and that was the challenge. And so I was like, you should do a pop art lip on me, and we'll see if it's any good. You know, because you're, you're like a, an expert let's, of painting. You know, and at so. first I thought you were nuts. <laughs> and and then I thought you know, but well, and also because like I use paint to touch and feel with, and yeah. so I thought, well, what what could I use to be able to know where I am perfectly? Bobby pins. Oh my gosh. Thumbtack. No, no, <laughs> I, no. But you know, um, but but the way that I do murals though is mm-hmm. by feeling, you know, like the bricks or the the different things and mm-hmm. using some of the, the the architecture. So that's that's what I'm going to try to do here, and I'm sure there's not going to be any problem, and everything is going to come out and look amazing. Okay. And so, so I, I got all my best lead-based paint. Oh, jeez. What's funny about this is that I was like, I was like, I'm not, I just won't lick my lips. You can do it with regular paint. I don't care, but I'm, I'm, I'm regretting, I'm regretting this now. Hey, so um, I'm, I'm going to move it closer to me. Hey, hey do, you, do you happen to have any more paper, paper towels over there, sweetheart? Yes. Noise. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you're getting a close up. Can I, can I have a paper towel? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm real. <laughs> Okay, the okay. other deal with this though is that you're not you can't wipe. Like it's a one one and done. One and done. Yeah, you got to just do it. Okay. Well, okay. We'll see. So you have a method. Do you want to talk people through it? Like if they want um, like a makeup tutorial. Well, I I'm go well one one reason that I was saying I was wanting to make well, be careful. I got it's right here. Okay. I, 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 yeah. If it gets on your thing, it won't come off. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um I mean on your um what are you wearing? Yeah. What are you wearing? Um, a NASA shirt. It's oh, NASA shirt. Look at you. Oh, I was saying here, all, all, all you wore were graphic tees, and look at you. <laughs> okay. Um, go science. Go science. Um, so I was thinking about making the lips over there red because that's what I wanted to do with you, like yeah. like just like the typical pop art lips. Yeah. Except maybe like that wide. <laughs> no. no. Oh, <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to feel this is going to tickle. So whenever I'm doing a, um, a sitting with someone, um, this is I've never done this before. This is so funny. Um, like like you feel like here's the filtrum up here. So this is different though because I'm. Oh, it feels so wrong, but it feels so right. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so okay, so what I'm doing is I'm getting kind of close to where the divot is. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Does it does it feel crazy? Mm-hmm. You know what? If this works out, I mean, I may have a whole another career here. You know, I'm telling mm, you. You do face painting. <laughs> I only do lips. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. I want a butterfly. <laughs> nope, you get lips. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> you get lips, and you'll like it. <laughs> the parents would be like, "Uh, don't go to that guy." <laughs> come here, come here, little boy. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> Being a model is hard, isn't it? It is. That's what I do. Like, if we ever have a news crew here and they're like, all right, no, just look serious. And I'm Liam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or, like, I'll say something. I'll say, okay, say that exactly again. I've never said the same thing twice. I mean, I'll talk all day long, but I'll never say. <laughs> but I, I, I don't listen to what I say. Okay. I feel like you look amazing. I feel like they're really big. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to make them a little big because it's a cartoon. Okay, okay. Cool, I'm making cool. you just Jessica Rabbit over here. Okay. Jessica Rabbit. Okay. Now, here's what's oh going to get tricky. Okay. I'll be real still. Okay. Oh, that's hard. It's funny because I'm painting it in my mind. Because I can't feel everything, so I kind of got it going in my mind. 
but I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping that what I'm, I'm thinking about in my mind is reality. <laughs> You're giving you a little mustache. <laughs> You're going to look like um, Adam, Adam, Gomez Adams. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm losing my Bluetooth. Oh, I forgot it was in there. Okay. Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> So. I think it's on my chin. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Normally I'd say you're a spring, but you could pull this off. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I don't know if uh, um I'm not I'm not sure if I'm feeling the liner. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I went a little crazy with the white. I don't know. Do you want to look and see what you think? Okay. <laughs> God, are you serious? <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I think you pop. <laughs> this, I feel like, I feel like this is like, I don't even mustache? know. It's like Tammy Faye Baker on a really <laughs> yeah, bad day. <laughs> oh. oh my you know gosh. What? I think. You know what? You know what? I Here, think, here's the challenge. I think you make it look good. Here, I could get the camera far, <laughs> far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. I look ridiculous even laughing. Okay. Uh. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, so I don't know. Um, I, I think everything's perfect except for the liner, and the and the and the highlights. You I would everything. definitely go back in. So pretty much everything. Yeah, like, and if I if I was doing okay. it for reals, I I would put like a deeper red. I, I mean, I know if it was like a comic book, it would just be one color. Mm -hmm. But I'd want to go in with a little red, so maybe purple or okay. something. But all right, people. <laughs> This is John's job. We know a lot of people will pay a lot of money to to get their lips made bigger, <laughs> pumping collagen in it. Look, I did I did for you that I did that Thank for you in just a matter of minutes. <laughs> All right, who did it better? I did one on John earlier. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. And this is what his looked like. It. I will say his was difficult because he has a mustache. Mm -hmm. So. That's John earlier. I think I, I think mine was, your mine was a bit subtle mm -hmm. and 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 nice, and I right over here I feel like I should I don't even know. I didn't make you is. make faces though. You made me make all. I bet, so I don't know what I don't know anyway, what you selected, but this is alarming. Mm -hmm. I feel. <laughs> So well, here, here, you know what? Let me read the comments in my new. The, the nice face. thing I can do is that I can make mine go away by hitting, hitting a button. I know, and I have to wear this for the rest of the show. I don't think I thought this this challenge all the way through. I think it's brilliant. Ugh. Hold it. Where's the screenshot button? Ugh. Well, Fred says those elephants turned out awesome. Oh, Kim, thank you, Fred. Kim says, I now I now see more color in the elephants than I had um, on the other posts. So yay. Uh, Fred thinks this is hilarious. I'm glad I could humor you. Um, uh, Steve uh, Evans joins us, says, is there a plan to expand the reflection series? I have a photo of a sunset reflected in a building's uh, west window. It made it look like the building was on fire inside. That's kind of oh, cool. Wow, that sounds brilliant. Um, that, I mean, that, that description alone is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. You know, you it would be interesting to do a, a reflection painting that didn't have people or animals in it. That would be good. You yeah. hadn't thought of that, about that one. Yeah. And then uh, Fred says, ha ha, this is rad. <laughs> Amanda Lee says, that's love, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom says, hilarious. Fred says, totally, Rolling Stones. Um, and then Amanda Lee says, powdered donut, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Barbara says, you're a good sport, Jackie. And Fred says, I'm a good sport. This was oh. supposed to be my challenge to make you look silly. And I don't think that that's how this worked out. Well, you know. That's okay. <laughs> See, it's going to come off all over. Is oh, it, yeah. Can I drink my wine with this <laughs> paint now, on my face? Now it just got serious, didn't it? Yeah, you might you might want to pull you might want to try to wipe it off if you can. <laughs> 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 no, it's on there, man. Is it? 
Yeah, it's not coming off. Oh, be careful. I don't know if that's so great to drink. I mean, I've drank paint water You drink before, your paint water all the time. Yeah, but I don't, you know, do it on purpose. Once, so, I mean, the alcohol should at least kill something. <laughs> well, I think I think I want to have a strand of her hair come come across right here. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a little white, and I'm just gonna wipe this out. I think that's a great idea. Earlier, when you mentioned it to me, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm on board, but now, I I like that better than short little bangs. Yeah. So. So I think, and I'm gonna make some of this a little bigger too. I think. So it's going to change a little bit. This is just my drawing. And drawings, you know, my sketch. So, so, so sketches are meant to be changed. So, so I think this is, so I don't know. I'm going to put this here. And we'll see. I think you need to do her lips up like mine. Really? Clearly. Red? <laughs> Something red. Hot mess. Yeah, at all. Let's I think I left all my paints over there, but I happen to have. Some liquid red. Well, Fred right says here. the blue looks cool. It does look cool. Oh, so. cool. Well, here, let me put red on him for right now. Ooh, let me get this. I'll put red on him for a moment so, so we can look at it and see what it looks like. Just get that white off, boo. All right, let's see. Get ready. Are you ready for it? So, are you doing red? Well, what are you doing? Well, it's going to do red. Do it. If you want me to make him look like yours. <laughs> Does anybody want them to look like mine? <laughs> um, orange, orange would be really cool too. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do with the background in yet, so I don't know. Here. Do it red. You can always change it. Yeah. See what it looks. See. Red is very stere stere stereotypical, which is why I wanted to do it in red in the first place. But now I'm thinking, if it's stereotypical, maybe that's not. You know, maybe it'd be better to do something different. Maybe orange. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, orange would compliment the blue kelly graham says hot pink Ooh, that could be nice yeah mm. you did your so john did a painting called boop um a while back and her the, the lips on that painting were fantastic i'll just say oh, and they were you. hot pink that's what made me think of that oh yeah <clears throat> that was supposed to be in the reflection Sorry, series but it got bought before it could go to the show but we might have a print of it though. Going yes. Or, but maybe not. I, I know. I know the mural. Like I did a mural, that's part of the the series. Or a painting that I made into a mural. So that might be in the the show. Just put a print, like a limited edition, just to just so people see it for fun. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back over this again because I probably left out little areas, but it's probably close enough, at least for the camera. Yeah, it looks like it's bright. It's super bright red. It's comic book red. I like it. <laughs> I bet you do. I don't know I don't know why I would think that you'd be a fan of bright red lipstick <laughs> with black light, uh, black liner around it. <laughs> Okay, if you go if you go on a, to Netflix and you watch the glow up show, I forget what episode it was, but it was closer to like the middle mm -hmm. to end, and you know the the pop art lips were like sexy and cool, and I was like that'd be cool. <laughs> no, that's not cool. Would I um, would I have won? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We are not going to make it famous with your makeup tutorials, babe. I'm sorry. Well, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Fred says identical to Jackie. So there you go. There you go. Gonna now, start a John Belleen <laughs> company. Uh, Amanda Lee says, uh, when is the show? I know it's in Frisco, but what dates? Robin and I want to make sure to go. Oh. Um, it is all, the, it is the whole month of September. And it, we, the reception, I think is September 18th. It's like that Saturday or something. I will let you guys know for sure. And then there's a workshop um, where we're going to do like a multi-sensory sort of create art, experience art with all your senses, and that's on the 26th. So we'll let you guys know, but it would be awesome to even go down there with you. It'd be fun. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. That, 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 that'd, that'd be so much fun if you, if you guys came to that. John will do my makeup for the day. And you're both going to be in paintings. <laughs> that'd be cool. So I'm adding a little um, a wash of dioxin and pur purple. If it, oh, if okay, so it's not going to be like a solid. 
Yeah, like so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I could. I just, I don't know. What do, what do, y'all, what do y'all think? Well, like, I, th- I think you should definitely put your own spin on it because this is classic. Like, everybody, I mean, like, you know, you don't want to do, produce, like, a Lichten sign. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, no, 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 and plus, like, gosh, what they... The dots alone will take Roy was like crazy weeks. with those dots. <laughs> Roy, what are you thinking? I mean, mercy. <laughs> mercy. <laughs> That's a lot of dot making. But, yeah, I I, I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the different um, tones. Oh, oh, and then, um, we're just signing on today, but um, I'm going to be part of the next Mandy Harvey concert. Thing oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, and we'll, we'll, have, we'll have more for, for about that, but that'll be that'll be really cool. It's um, yeah, the end of September, uh, flying out to Florida and doing a concert with her. If you guys don't know who Mandy Harvey is, you should definitely look her up. She was on um, America's Got Talent, and uh, I think she got the golden ticket or something. But but she does m- music, but she's deaf, and she feels it through the floor um, when she's playing it. So it's like. Just watching her is phenomenal. Like, it's phenomenal. So, yeah, um, that'll be great. So super nice too. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Fred says just take a little detour into northern Nevada. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, and Barbara says, well, Facebook still recognizes you, Jackie. <laughs> it auto tagged you in the post. Oh, I nice. Made. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like. Typical Tuesday for Jackie. <laughs> I have no dignity after yep, this. Yep, that's Jackie. <laughs> Golly. Uh, oh, bless your heart. Oh my gosh. I tried care. to do a good job. I mean, it, it. It's cool. I just. Yeah, it's. You know what? I did say make them big and beautiful. You did. And you that's did. true. You know, I have to say that you know, like growing growing up, I actually I actually had lip lips that. Put it put on me more more than I like to admit, because I, I I was a boy cousin with millions of uh, girl cousins. It seemed like you know, yeah. so so it was always like you know you're 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 over you know you're you're over the family and our family was really close. So we're always you know around each other. So you're spending a summer and it's like you know it's like the millionth hour and they're like there's nothing to do you know <laughs> and then and then the the girls start wh- wh- whipping out the makeup and there you go. <laughs> Uh, um, I remember my, my cousin Brad, um, who you know is now like like a, a former Marine and all kinds of stuff. But um, it, what the best the best Halloween costume he ever did was he dressed up like a lady, and he, like he had permed hair and everything like in in, in um, um, high heels and and he came walking up and my mom said, "Dang, he actually looks good." <laughs> really, that's funny. Well, he's, he's like probably, a buff dude. He was probably like 14, 15. Oh, okay. Or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now like you know, he's yeah, now and, now he's like a buff dude. Yeah, yeah. But that's you know. funny. But yeah, but he, he worked it though. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was, worked it. He was fun. Uh, well, Barbara says, "I wonder if Ray Charles ever did makeup." Uh I'd be surprised. See, got him beat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> First Take blind muralist. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Well, so, I think I'm going to work on the hair a little bit, like finish, and then uh, I'll probably be it, finish this because um, I'm afraid I'm going to start putting little f- fingerprints everywhere. So, and then you, you just have to, like, outline the that strand that's coming down. Are you going to do, like, a thin line on that, or what are you doing with that? Well, I'm going to start it thin, and then I'm going to thicken it. I might have some more come in, too, mm-hmm. but I'm going to start with a little because it's so much easier to add than it is to take away. The nice thing is that you can do both. It's easy to take away too. But but I want to have, I want to have like more and more bangs coming in. But I'm not I'm cool. not really sure. Awesome. I don't know. Well, I do want to say like so. What John and I are trying to do is every other week we're gonna do trivia. So next week, we're gonna do trivia and free art giveaway to whoever gets pulled out of the hat. And then the week after that, we'll do like some wacky challenge shena- art shenanigans. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's not going to be painting on my face again, and uh, and, th- and then you know we'll go we'll do trivia. So every other week we'll be doing that, and uh, so if you know your stuff, you yeah, can come back for be. it. And I do want to say if you guys are on TikTok, if you're on any of the socials, be sure and um, follow us or like us. It's always fun to like, and I don't know, it, I don't know. We've been a little obsessed with it lately. To, I was a long time, you know, just observer of TikTok and I would just like scroll like down the rabbit hole 
And then we were like, we should get on board. And now it's a little bit of a personal goal to TikTok every day. <laughs> so um, you should uh, see the shenanigans we get into. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll, be a, that'll be a lot of fun. That'll be good. So, yeah, we'll be doing that. Yeah. Well, Fred says, always fun, whatever you do. Um, <coughs> you'll have to bring your thinking cap next week. Um, and Barbara says, one time I heard Ray Charles say he had a new hobby, making furniture with a chainsaw. After the laughter died down, he said, God knows what it looks like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yikes. Gosh, uh, you don't want to, like, play with a chainsaw with his his hands and everything? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's like you doing the, the all the woodwork outside. I'm always like, uh Yeah, but, but, but I use, like, um table saws and stuff so like you know you get everything set up then you turn it on and pretty sure that still takes fingers off if you're not well, careful i don't know if you put them in it but <laughs> if you put i like the it. saws where you, you put something and then you're all away from it and you turn it on and then you turn it off again you don't have to i don't know well in this last project you had jack <clears throat> doing about half of it so that was yeah that's brilliant yeah that is brilliant although that made me more i was more worried than because yeah I, I don't know like you know like i i, I mean i I would rather lose lose a finger than him. Well, lose yeah, finger, you know? yeah, so it's like, naturally, you know, yeah. Like, made me nervous. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks, thanks so much, and um, we're gonna be doing stuff and. Yeah. So art and all week. So, <laughs> so next we're week we're gonna be TikToking. Yeah, next week we'll do some <laughs> trivia. Tune into the TikToks and like, subscribe, share us with your friends, um, and uh, just every Tuesday you'll find us here. Thanks so much for hanging out, thanks. everybody. Oh, you know what? What? No, I'm giving my, my I'm pounding. What? Oh, well, I, I haven't fixed that thing. So we're still on. <laughs> hey, everybody. You know, this is like you the fourth week. You could just put it over our... to me while I do k- kissing it. Yeah. Well, you know, w- what it does is for some reason it, it, it puts it on me. So everybody can see my, it's my <laughs> see smiling the confusion face. Come Sorry, across guys. This is like the fourth week in a row. You'd think I would learn, but nope. In, oh. in my ear, it says in the show. But in, in reality, and then it says... It's on you or something or John. <laughs> so anyway. Well, Amanda Lee said we should dress up again when we go to Frisco. That'd be awesome. That would be um, cool. Barbara says do it. And then Kim says thanks. So Aww. thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. And and goodbye for real this time, probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Bye-bye.